Hi friends, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena if you are new here and welcome to the vlog. No idea how long this vlog is gonna be. It could be a day, a weekend, a week. Kinda just gonna go with the flow on this one and see how long it ends up being. Um, it's Friday, it's like 7.40 right now and I'm about to run to the store and go get some almond milk because we are like basically out. And I want to have another cup of coffee, but I don't want to drink black. So we got to run to the store and go get the milk and come back. Um, it's been a while since I vlogged, since I've made any content for YouTube outside of like shorts. So we have a lot of catching up to do. Some updates, what I'm reading, what I've read. I haven't done a TBR or a roundup. So we'll have to talk about books that I have read, that I have loved, that I have finished and just all the things. So let's head to the store, get the milk, make a coffee. Cannot wait to have another cup of coffee. I actually got up very early today. I got up at 6.30, rolled out of bed by like 6.37. And for the last maybe like two or three weeks, that's what I would consider very early because I've been rolling out of bed at like 7.40, 8 o'clock, and I start work at 8.30. But thankfully I have the opportunity to work from home. So, yeah, but I need that morning. I need that like two hours. I know it sounds extreme, like two to three hours just to like read and then do my Bible study and then like get ready. Like that's the best version of me that does that and not rolling out of bed at eight o'clock to start working at 8.30. So <sighs> that was like a whole bunch of things. Maybe if we're just going to do like a whole getting my life together type of thing. It's the beginning of the month. Maybe I'll walk you all through my planner. This vlog is probably gonna have a lot of random things in it, but I feel like it's warranted and it's needed because it's been a while since I've done a vlog, so. All right, let's go to the store. I actually have to charge my camera. It's on 14%, so I don't know if I'll vlog while I'm there. If anything, I'll just take like video on my phone of like me walking in and then I'll see you all once this is charged and give you some updates on books and the shop and just all of the things. Okay, so it's been a little bit uh, since my camera's charged. We're at 100% now. And it's also been a little bit since I talked about anything I've read. Like, hello, this is a booktube channel. I should talk about what I've been reading. Um, so let me just pull up story graph because I think the last roundup that I did was back in January so we'll talk about February and then we'll talk about March and my April TBR which is kind of like all over the place but we'll still talk about it so it's been a slow start as far as reading goes I feel like I've read nothing but I've also already read 16 I think 16 books this year so in February, I read a whopping four books, but you'll you'll understand why. Um, I read, this is not going in particular order, I don't think. Yeah, actually, no. This goes in order of how I read them. I don't know that was why that was so hard for me to get out. But I started off February with finishing, actually. So I don't know why I counted it as February. But I finished the first Crescent City on February 2nd. So it's kind of like a January read, but I do remember reading a lot of it February 1st and February 2nd, and then finishing it on February 2nd. Then I finally, 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 finally finished the tandem read of Empire of Storm and Tower of Dawn. I have been trying my hardest <laughs> to finish this tandem read since the summer. It was like July or August when I started it. And then I put it down over the winter and just like would pick it up every now and then, but I just couldn't jump back into it. I had been so far removed from the series as a whole. And I was like, it, it's not really doing anything for me, but I also think I should have, I don't know, maybe like watched a YouTube video to like, summarize everything again so that way I wasn't just going back in with a giant gap of knowledge 
I don't know. Um, my best friend, Bethany, she is actually, hi Bethany, if you're watching this, um, she was actually had started the series around, I don't know, maybe September or October. So that was the push that was like, okay, let me jump back in because now she's reading it and we can like kind of do this together. So jump back in, finally finished both of those in February. So I guess they count for February reads, but I read a lot of it, like over 50% of it last year. So my, my reading counts are gonna be off from last year and this year, it's, it is what it is. Um, then the uh, final book that I started and finished that month it's the only book I started and finished in February was Daisy Hates and the Great Undoing. Oof, this book, this was, this was a hard one to get through. Although like I knew most of what was going to happen, just seeing it from another point of view was rather eye-opening to a lot of the things that go on in this series. And the major cliffhanger that was left the end of this book that I hope we get some answers on in the next Magnolia Parks. Um, it's just something else. I, I'm also very nervous to get into the next Magnolia Parks, which is why I haven't read it yet. And it came out now almost two months ago. And I have it, it's on my shelf, it's up there. So yeah, that was February. Um, lots of pages were consumed, over a thousand pages and just four books. So I'm gonna consider it a good reading month. Then in March, I jumped right into the second Crescent City, which I started the month with. And actually, did I start the month with it? I think I started it at the end of February. I'm trying to remember. That was another one. I think I started it at the end of February. I've been really bad about like the month TBR, like starting it on the first and ending it like on the last day of the month. Um, so books are just rolling over. It, it is what it is, it's fine. I started and finished um, House of Sky and Breath and it's another one. The cliffhanger, although I have the third book and I haven't read it, it's, it's sitting on a shelf. I'm just very nervous to get into it because this is a highly anticipated read for me and I don't want to be let down or disappointed. And I've seen some very, mixed reviews on it so yeah i'm a little nervous a little concerned uh then i jumped into a whole bunch of rom-coms because i needed a break <laughs> i needed to let my brain and my heart and my emotions just heal for two seconds before jumping into another sarah j mouse book and i listened to wildfire by hannah grace this was actually a book club pick and I thought it was cute. I thought it was fun, little summer romance, even though it's not even summer. But when I was reading this, I do remember it, the temperatures were actually like in the 60s and 70s. And I was like, yes, this feels good. And then it dropped back to the 40s. So that's, I'll always remember that book with the weather changing. Um, then I read By a Thread by Lucy Score. And this is another one. I started it back, ah, my eyes itchy, sorry. I started it back in January and couldn't even tell you why I put it down. Like it's five star read, great book. I think I just got distracted and then never picked it back up again. So finished that amazing, Lucy Score can do no wrong. I have loved every single one of her books that I've read so far. And this one was recommended to me and she didn't steer me wrong. So I was so excited. I was so excited to finish it and get back into it and read it again. Just a lot of excitement surrounding this book. Then I read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. And oh my gosh, this was definitely, it's gonna be top five, if not top five, top like 10 books of the whole year. I'm already declaring it and it's April 5th. Yeah, it's April 5th. So good. And I was so pleasantly surprised because if you have been around my channel for a while you would know that I did a reading vlog which I'll tag like up here somewhere for the wall of Winnipeg no sorry for uh when Gracie meets the grump or when Gracie met the grump yeah when Gracie met the grump it's literally like right tucked behind that wall um and I 
wasn't the biggest fan of it, honestly. I thought I was slow. I couldn't really relate to anything going on. I, the plot moved so slow. Yeah, that's all I can say is that it was such a slow book and I was really worried because I had, I had purchased When Grace Met the Grump, Walla Winnipeg and Me, uh, All Roads Lead Here and I think that's it from her. I had purchased them all around the same time thinking like everybody recommends Mary Rose Zapata, like she's great, she's one of the best authors out right now and I was like okay like everybody's recommending her so I might as well just buy like two or three of her books and I'm sure I'll like them. Yeah, I was I was concerned. But once I read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, my opinion has completely changed. Like, auto buy, 100%. Such a great book. And I listened to it and read it. Um, I did notice some differences because it was recently republished. So the audiobook was slightly different in some spots than the traditional, or not traditional, than the indie self-published one. So that's like the only thing. It was just like some wording. It wasn't like whole plot points were taken out or rearranged. So yeah, that's just your warning. If you have like the indie copy, but you listen to the audiobook, the wording could be slightly different. Then after that, actually, I am confused. Oh, never mind. Wait. <laughs> I'm trying to remember back. Was Wildfire a book club pick? Now I don't remember, but I know the long game was a book club pick. Yeah, I think it was the long game, not wildfire. The long game was a book club pick and this one I wanted to love. I, I really did. I wanted to love it so bad. I still gave it three and a half stars, which is still enjoying most of the time that I read it. They were just some like chemistry points that I found to be very unbelievable and some things that the mailman character says that gave me the major ick so that's why I kept knocking it down a bit and I love Elena Armas like the Spanish Love of Deception was probably the first rom-com contemporary romance I don't know what you would classify that one that was the first one I read to like jumpstart me into the romance world so that book will always hold like a special place in my heart and she will always hold a special place in my heart. But yeah, this one kind of just missed the mark for me. I was glad to see it was a different sport other than hockey or baseball or football. Um, but yeah, it just, no, it didn't do it for me. Then this will be the last one for March. I started and finished the book Happily Ever After by Lynn Painter. And this was originally an arc that silly me missed the deadline for by like two days to post feedback. So I read it real quick, posted feedback and loved it. Loved every second of it. I have never read a Lynn Painter book before and now I will read every single one of them going forward. I actually have the do over, I think. Yeah, I have the do over. So I think I'm going to read that one probably this summer at some point. And I, I, that book was just so good. Like I'm trying to think back to it and I'm like, yeah, I had a great time reading that. The banter, the plot, the the plot was different than any other rom-com that I have ever read. I feel like a lot of the, this is not a spoiler by any means. Um, the wedding themed rom-coms, I feel like they all follow the same plot. This one didn't. And I was so happy for that. And I loved it. That's what I read in March and February. So now we could talk about April. I... I'm kind of embarking on what I'm calling arc April, where I'm just getting through as many arcs as I can, even if their due date is like June, July or August. I need to catch up on arcs. I feel like it's been a very long time since I have paid attention to them. And I know that's like, not the best. Um, I also haven't really requested any arcs simply because I've been running behind on my TBR. I mean, like, look at all these books behind me. Um, most of them are red, but there's a good chunk that aren't red. So I really need to read from here and not go out requesting new ones. Unless they're like ones that I know I would eventually buy anyway. I'll just get them on my Kindle. So, um, 
yeah, I don't really have a plan as far as April goes. I already finished Funny Story by Emily Henry and this was so good. So good. Such a good way to kick off April and a new Emily Henry. And I'm so glad that I did not give up on her back in 2022 or 2023, early 2023. That was my first Emily Henry book. And I did not like that book. I was like, what is this? Like the cover, uh, the title doesn't make sense. I can't relate to these characters, blah, blah, blah. blah. I was mad. I was fuming. And, and I don't really, I didn't really have any reason to be mad. I just, I think it's because there was so much hype surrounding this book and like I didn't get it. And I was still new to bookstagram at the time. So like I felt bad because everybody else liked it and I didn't. I didn't know that that was like a normal thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I read that and then I read Book Lovers and I think I was still on my high horse from people we meet on vacation and I didn't love Book Lovers either, but I feel like, now yeah, I feel like if I were to go back and read Book Lovers, I think I would actually thoroughly enjoy it. But yeah, I didn't at the time. And I don't know what's going on with this lighting. The sun is like in and out. So I don't know what just happened there. I actually, funny story, haha, no pun intended here. Um, I actually bought Book Lovers and listened to the audiobook and decided that I didn't like it. So I returned it at Target. <laughs> the first time I've ever purchased and returned a book which now going back, I feel bad about. Like, I really wish I would have held on to my copy, but I didn't, so. Oh well, I do want the UK covers of all her books though, because I feel like they are just fantastic and wonderful and they really need to do that with the US ones also. I don't know why the Kindle app, okay, there it is. Um. I was waiting for the Kindle app to load. That's why I kept rambling and rambling about Emily Harvey. But like I have so many solid options here as arcs right now. And I don't know what to pick. I started a novel love story by Ashley Poston and it's great so far. Um, I had to have Dan pick one last night. I was like, you just pick, pick a cover. And there were two that were off limits business casual and kingdom of ash she could not pick from because business casual um i don't want like other couples spoiled i want to read bk barson's books in sequential order so i actually just started um love life farms today i'm on chapter two i think of the audiobook because spotify has the audiobook so i said yes i will start that thank you um so i have to wait a little bit to read business casual but i want to i want to binge her books to get business casual in before the due date because we're on this arc kick right now and kingdom of ash i am currently reading i don't know why it's still on my kindle like i returned a library book but i can open it i don't remember if i bought it or not maybe i did buy it i don't remember i don't know um but i am currently like 40 percent into kingdom of ash it feels like it should be farther along, but I'm literally like over 300 pages in. So I basically read a book in one book. This book is like three books long. Um, but Goodreads will only count it as one. So that's why I'm so behind on my reading goal because I read The Two Crescent Cities, I'm reading Kingdom of Ash, and I finished Empire Storm and Tower Dawn. So yeah, trying not to pay attention to my reading goal, just trying to read for fun and enjoyment and not fixate on how many books behind I am. I think I'm gonna end up lowering my goal anyway, um, just because there's a lot of thicker books that I would like to read this year and I don't want to be pressed for time um, trying to read this goal. I mean, trying to read for this goal. So that's the update. I um, am very excited about this lineup of arcs that I have. I think I'll read most of these this month and maybe like one or two in May, but I just have to go by like when their pub dates are. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? What other updates do I have? That's really it as far as reading goes. Um, the shop is back up and running. It was never like closed, but there was a period of time back in January and February that I was like, 
major step back from it. Didn't know whether I was going to keep it running or not, honestly. Like I was about to send out an email to all my subscribers being like, you know, this is kind of going to be like the last bit of chance before the store closes, blah, 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 blah. But I've decided to keep it open. And I am very happy with that decision because things are picking up again. I have some ambassadors that have discount codes. Um, there's going to be a discount code specifically for YouTube in the description box below. So check that out. A little shameless plug. Um, yeah. So shop is good. Work is busy. Book update is that it's busy. <laughs> it's a lot of reading going on behind the scenes. And I think that's why I haven't had a lot of time to get back here to YouTube. So I am going to go have lunch and get back to work because I did use my lunch break to film 18 minutes worth of this and I need to get back to work in a couple minutes when my break is over. And I need to eat something now before I get busy with work again. Um, what's the plan for the rest of the day? Later, we're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm so excited to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I haven't been in a very long time, so I'm excited. I know I just said I'm excited like three times in a row, but I am excited. I have to walk at some point, but it's very windy out. And we did have an earthquake earlier and we haven't had an earthquake in like 12 years. And that earthquake, I don't, I barely felt, like I felt it a little bit, but not anything crazy. This one though, the whole, like everything was shaking. It was a 4.8 on the earthquake scale. So I don't really know. I guess the scale is one to 10, I think. So it was about a halfway. So apparently we might be feeling some aftershocks today. I don't know. I guess we'll take it as they come, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on the rest of the day. Be on the lookout for earthquake shakes and go into the Cheesecake Factory and I will give an update on a novel love story which I have not read enough to give you an update really. Um, I just know that there's this girl and her and a book club were supposed to meet up and something happens and now she's like stuck and that's all I know. So <laughs> yeah, that's the update. Um, that one I think comes out in June or July. Hold on, I will check. Where's Goodreads? I rearranged my phone because I'm going on Instagram way too often and it's like muscle memory and I don't need to be on there. So I moved everything around and now I can't find anything. June 25th is when a novel love story comes out. So we'll give a little bit of feedback as I go through it, but I'm not gonna tell you too much because it hasn't come out yet. And that's also why I kept funny story very big because that one also hasn't come out yet. I am going to go eat. I am so awkward at these like, outros between like clips it's just awkward for me so i'm gonna go and i will talk to you all later when i have a book update a reading update and just when i'm doing out and about doing things now that way don't know that it's all Saturday I oh we're stuck I just woke up Ugh. I just woke up like literally 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago I just made a coffee I really should go eat something because I'm trying to eat something before having my coffee so I don't crash in the afternoon um I don't know what's going on here again just woke up so I'll have to figure this out later Anyway, uh, the plan for today is to go record a podcast with Bethany and not sound so congested. Not sure why that's happening. I think it's just because of the weather. It's been warm and cold and warm and cold. We haven't had like a true spring. We always have like winter and then like maybe a week of spring and then winter and then like another week of spring and then winter and then all of a sudden it's summer. So yeah, I think that's why I'm sounding a little bit like this. I 
have to go record the podcast with Bethany, like I just said before. And then after that, I think I'm going to try to go to the gym. I have to see how the timing works. I think I'm going to try to go to the gym if it's not too crowded because it's a Saturday. If it is, I'll just like make do. Maybe I'll just go on the treadmill and then maybe do a couple exercises. If it's not, then I'll get the workout in, which would be awesome. And then tonight, I am going to the city. It is super last minute. All of a sudden, these plans kind of just like whip themselves together. Abby Jimenez is going to be in the city and I have wanted to meet her so long. Part of Your World was the first book I read by her and oh my goodness, that was like instant five star top read of 2020. I think I read it in 2022, 2022 or 2023, I don't remember, but it was a top read. So good. I recommend that book to everybody that's looking for like a romance, but like it's not all like spice and smut and that's not that like driving plot um there's just so much more depth to her books and i uh, they're just fantastic every single one i've read by her is five stars except for one except for one because it was the miscommunication trope and i can't stand that so i rated it four stars but still i i enjoyed most of the book so I'm, I'm just so excited to go see her in the city tonight. Um, I'm going with my friend Johanna and again hi Johanna if you're watching this because I know a lot of a lot of my friends watch my vlogs and I know like I name drop everyone so <laughs> everybody's gonna be mentioned in this vlog. Um, oh yes I need to wake up that's the first order of business it's 8 17 and I still need to prep for this podcast. So I think that's what we're going to do now. Go prep. I like kind of have an idea of like a script in my head, but I always like to have notes because when I go without notes, it's, it's just not pretty. <laughs> it's like fine, but like I don't settle for just fine. I like to have my notes. I like to keep the conversation going and I, um, yeah, I just like to have notes. It also drives the conversation. So I am going to go do that and then get ready to go. I think I think I'm going to wear this today. I'm wearing my Field by Coffee and Goodreads um, crew neck in the gray and leggings. And I think I'll put like different earrings on. I don't know. I've been attached to these like little hoop things lately because I got them from Hey Rowan when I got my ears pierced last week well not ears singular ear i don't know if you'll be able to like see it in a camera but this one's new and then the butterfly back here is new they're still definitely healing i can tell you that much my sleep has been a little whacked because of it um i'm actually sleeping on my um you know when you travel those neck pillows so i secured the button at the bottom of it and i've been sleeping on that because my ear can just go through the hole that's in that, like that it makes. And apparently they have like a healing pillow, but I didn't see them there and I wasn't about to pay for another pillow. So I conjured that up in my brain to use the travel pillow instead on that side. And I, at first I was like flipping between two pillows. Like if I was sleeping on this side, I was just using my regular pillow. But then if I was sleeping on this side, I was using the travel pillow. But then I was up like half the night, like every time I would toss and turn, just like switch the pillow and I remember what side I was supposed to be on. And it didn't, it wasn't the greatest. I wasn't getting the greatest sleep at all. So I've just been sleeping on the travel pillow and it's been fine. Um, I don't have any complaints about it right now. So I've noticed over the last couple of days, my sleep getting better and better and better, which is good, which is great actually. And maybe my sleep score today. I think my sleep score was like an 80 something yesterday on uh, Aura, but let's see. Watch it be lower after I'm like, oh yeah, I got a great night's sleep. It's loading, it's updating. Okay. Okay, maybe yesterday. I'm confused. Sleep score. 
Oh no, yesterday it was higher. It was much higher. <laughs> it was a 90. Today it dropped down to an 82. Um, I'm noticing some factors that deal with that, like, raise it or lower it for me. And then I'll drop the topic of sleep. Um, I had caffeine late last night. I had food that I don't normally eat last night. And I went to bed late last night. Got up at a regular decent time this morning. So those three factors last night dropped my sleep score immediately. But like, I feel like I got a decent night's sleep. I don't know. Maybe that's just me because I sleep pretty, what's the word? Mediocre to begin with. Um, I've never really had like a great, amazing night's sleep, at least not that I can remember. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, let's get going for this podcast and fix this congestion, fix my hair, and drink this coffee because your girl's gonna need it. Um, I'm still doing my usual, oh, new cup by the way, um, usual coffee order at home. Bianco Forte Pod, milk first, milk, ice, and sugar first. Let the coffee brew over that and then just mix it up. This does need a little more milk because it is kind of dark. Um, although I have drank it like this, but I do like it a little bit lighter. And this cup just launched and I do have them in stock. I restocked um, this cup shape and I have plenty of white, pink, holographic, pink with bows straws available. Let me show you this one because I accidentally did I break stuff all the time. Like I'm, I'm actually like kind of clumsy. Um, even though I danced for like 15 years, I think it's because I'm not dancing that I'm like bumping into things. <laughs> um, I was washing the dishes the other day and I, what did I do? I would like went to go grab something, but I like twisted my elbow up and this cup was by the sink and I knocked it in. So the straw went like, uh, broken half like on the edge of the sink where the corner is and then like toppled in and then we have a um a grid in our sink to like put everything on so that way it doesn't scratch the bottom and I think this like the bow got caught on the grid and it like knocked it off so that was a little bit of a bummer but these are the straws that you can pair with the glass now it comes in a matte pink and just like a regular semi like translucent pink um if you don't do what i do and you don't knock it over you'll have it for a long time they're so cute and they go with a lot of my cups actually you can put this with any cup it doesn't have to be the bow cup um i think i mentioned this yesterday or maybe i mentioned it in like a previous vlog that i never edited and uploaded that i just kind of stopped filming for um i'm gonna put the link to this reference and a discount code for y'all to use in the description below because January and February, as along with not being on YouTube, I really wasn't like running my store as much. Actually, it was kind of like December, January, and February. I was very close to sending out an email saying that Coffee and Goodreads was going to close, actually. And I haven't told anybody on any other platform this, so YouTube's hearing it first. Um, I was going to close the store. I, I was. I January and February and December actually were probably three of the slowest months despite posting about it that I've ever had and it was at a point where I legitimately could not pay the shop bills because I wasn't like the, just stuff wasn't coming in for me like to make money from. And I don't say this for y'all to be like, oh, let me go into her store and buy stuff now. Um, it's just the reality of small business and that nobody really talks about that. And how quick, how up and down it is. There's no stability with it. But I'm so thankful that right now, I'm back. There's a bit of stability. I'm posting the products more than I normally would, which is helping. So you'll see them a lot. You'll see them in probably every single post going forward, just somewhere tagged like, in this video, I'm wearing this sweatshirt or like in a book review, you'll see a cup, like things like that. Um, 
because it's hard out here. It, it really is. It is. And just trying to get by. Um, but Coffee and Goodreads is not going anywhere. The store is not closing. I always like to clarify because I call my Instagram Coffee and Goodreads and then the shop Coffee and Goodreads. I'm always talking about the shop. My bookstagram is never going to go anywhere. That's always going to stay. Um, but yeah, I was very close to closing the shop altogether, which is kind of scary. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But it's not going anywhere. You can go shop it. The link is in the description box below. And you can see all the new stuff that has recently launched. So, wow. That was uh, 12 minutes worth of rambling and saying that I need to go prep for this podcast and go like get ready. So let's go actually do that and I will see you all uh, probably about an hour, honestly. I'll see you all in a little bit. Call, but not just any book haul a library book haul also don't look at my trunk i am transporting stuff for storage and my shop and there's just a lot going on back there but that's not the point of this the point is i just went to two libraries and i now have in my position one two three four five six seven new books and five of them are library books Two of them were just like on the free shelf. And I was like, uh, yes. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Um, let me take a breath here. And we'll go over all of the books. The librarians in this library were loving the Fueled by Coffee and Goodreads sweater. So I did plug my shop. Maybe they'll check it out, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna get the car started and then chats let's turn the volume down cool okay so the first one i picked up was heavily influenced because i will read anything that she recommends um olivia over or live over at olivia reads a latte this book she said was six stars so i had to go pick it up and it's called the warm hands of ghosts apparently it's historical fiction and it's short it's 318 pages i'm here for it she said that this book broke her and then the last two chapters put her back to put her back together again so yeah uh immediate had to pick up and read i don't know where i'm gonna make a pile for all these books i'll just put this here and then i also picked up because she recommended it and so many other people recommended it although this one looks a little, a little long for freedom mcfadden this one is 379 pages and I have to read it in the next two weeks. It's called The Teacher. And I don't think I've read a Frida McFadden book. I don't think I have. I'm getting her a little confused right now with um, Sherry Lapina. Because I've read a couple of hers. But I don't think I've read a Frida McFadden. So this is going to be a first. And I own The Housemaid too. I don't know why I just haven't read it yet. But... That's from this library. Then from the other libraries where I really like struck gold. 
um picked up a cassandra claire this one was on the shelf as a free one it's in literally perfect condition so i've heard very like mixed reviews on her books and would rather use the library when i'm on the fence than just like buy it and not like it i don't know why i don't do this more frequently i sh really should so this is i think the first one i hope Lady Midnight. Yeah, it says book one. But I... Oh, this is a whole other series that I'm looking at. Wait. I am so confused. Is this like the spinoff to the City of Bones? I don't know. I'm so confused. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look into this. I don't know if I can read this right away. But nonetheless, I do have it in my possession. The next one I picked up, which... I have been waiting to read this and I keep forgetting about it and then every time I see it I'm like oh my goodness I need to read that. Argyle by Ellie Conway who we don't know apparently who she is. That That's this one. Um, this book inspired the movie and I really wanted to see the movie when I was out but things just got like really busy and then I didn't have time to go see it. So I will read this first and then watch the movie somewhere hopefully it's on some sort of streaming network that i can watch it on the next one that i picked up is the villa by rachel hawkins i have not read another rachel hawkins since reckless girls and that was oh my gosh probably like two years ago and i do have the wife upstairs so i figured maybe i'll try another one of hers i don't know i haven't read a thriller in a really long time so I'm either thinking I'll read one of hers, or if I'd never ended up reading this, I'll just go into like Elisa Jewell because she never steers me wrong. So yeah, do this. I also have the Freedom McFadden book um, to kind of cure my thriller thirst. I just made that up. I don't know. I don't know. The next one I picked up was, hasn't been on my radar for a while, and I actually forgot that I really wanted to read these books. They were on a, like my 2022 TBR and it's spring by ali smith she has four books it's a series it's like the spring quartet is what it's called um i just really love a good like contemporary fiction so i figured i would pick this up i'm hoping i can just jump right in with this one i don't have to read any of the other ones first and i figured since we're entering spring it was a good time to read it and then the last one that I picked up from the, the free section is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Again, this book is in like basically perfect condition for the most part. The pages are a little like yellowed and worn, but this book's been around for a hot second. So I'm not surprised by that. Um, again, I don't know where this falls in the grand scheme of Cassandra Clare. I know there's like certain ways that you're supposed to read them. This is, does say book one of the internal devices so i'm thinking this is my starting point i don't know but if anybody has any insight into the cassandra claire universe um please let me know because i don't want to start in the wrong spot but yeah that is my book haul and realistically if we were to look at numbers of how much these books cost and what i have in my possession right now um this one paperback so like $12.99 at the time probably now it's more expensive this is a hardcover so $27.99 $25.95 like already right there that's almost 40 bucks if not more um this one's $28.99 because this one's a more recent one so almost $30 right now that brings us up to like 70 ish and change same thing with this one's probably gonna be 30 yeah $38.99 in Canada. Oh my gosh. Uh, so what did I just say? 30, 60, 70, 80. It's probably like a hundred bucks right now. Just over a hundred. Again, probably another 20 bucks. So 120, 140. And this is probably just, my hair is everywhere another 30 so like 170 i would have spent on all of these books and i didn't pay a single dollar so i highly recommend if you have a library card please 
utilize it. Please. Even if your local library doesn't have the book that you're looking for, they will get it from some other library. Um, I know at least like my library network does that. And utilize your friends. If your friends have library cards, like just ask them and then be a good library user and don't like, you know, just return the books on time or renew them. So that's my little library spiel. I love the library. I need to do it more. I need to come here more often. Um, cause every time I do come here, I feel fantastic that I got all these books. Obviously I didn't have to spend anything, but I will read them and I love looking at all the books and seeing how well loved they are and that other people have read them and love them also. Um, yeah. So that's my, that's my, that my go to the library speech. Um, I'm going to head home now cause I haven't eaten anything yet today and I'm starving and I want to make some more coffee and pick one of these books to maybe start or just get back into um I guess what's the name of it a novel love story by Ashley Poston that one's been really cute um I need to get further into it though um oops and I need to start a physical book because I don't have a physical book going right now which is kind of surprising so let's go do that and I will see you all when we get back to the house. Filled bookworm. We got home kind of late, kind of late, not really, from the Abby Amenas event in the city. And you're just gonna have to listen to it. Like, I, I'm on my way out, so I need to wash this out. Um, the event was so good. And I didn't realize how much effort and work and research went into one of Abby Jimenez's books. Like I kind of knew because the stuff that she talks about and the way she talks about it, I was like, ah, she does a lot of research. She doesn't just like speak from experience. And um, last night just like affirmed what I was thinking for the most part with her books. And it makes sense as to why like Part of Your World, for example. Part of Your World for me was a five star read within the first 50 pages, which I never do that ever. And all of her books for the most part have been five stars, if not five. Um, the Fred Zone was I think a four or a four and a half, um, just because I'm not the biggest fan of the miscommunication trope. So that was a little bit of annoying. Um, but yeah, it was it was so good. And then the author that she was in conversation with, because um, unfortunately BK Bars and that sick, was so fun and she was so bubbly. And I wish I had the opportunity to talk to her, but other there was like a whole crowd around her, and I didn't really want to wait. So we just left after we got our books signed and my bag signed from Abby, um, as if I'm on a first name basis with her now. I'll show you all my bag later because I do have to kind of get going. I slept in. I only got up at like 9 o'clock, which is why I'm still looking like this. I'm still sounding like this. Um, I'll show you my bag later. The books. We didn't buy any new books. We just brought the books that we already had. Um, 
and got insomnia cookies, which I will be microwaving and eating today. And we got coffee from Ralph's Coffee. And then we went to this place called Sweet Chick, and it's kind of like Chick-fil-A. Um, I thought it was pretty good, so I do recommend. So yeah, a um, little OOTD for charge. This is from Altered State, and I'm just wearing like blue jeans and my brown New Balance 550s. And that's the vibe for today. I don't really wanna go to Starbucks, but that's like all I have time for. I'm debating just waiting until after church where I can go to like a different local coffee shop. Mm, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna put my coffee in here so it sits in a cup holder and then later go get a fun coffee. Yeah, I think that's the vibes. Um, I've already rejected plans and I've been up <laughs> since nine o'clock and all I wanna do today is just read and chill. So that's what we're gonna do. And if I go anywhere, it's gonna be the library again, just to read there or a coffee shop to read. I'm not doing anything else. That's the plan. All right, let me go uh, figure this coffee situation out. I will talk to you all after church when um, I'm home for basically the rest of the day. And then we get to chat about some reading updates and whatever else comes to my brain. Happy Monday. Happy uh, solar eclipse day, actually. That's gonna happen later, so. I don't know anything really about that. I just know that it's gonna pass, and it's like a similar, or it's like the opposite path to like the one in 2017. Um, I'm not in like a totality path by any means, so I think it's just gonna be like a little shady for like three minutes later. I don't really know. Um, we're on a go already. It's 8.05. I'm actually heading to my grandma's. Um, she's been having some TV issues. So <laughs> I am like designated uh, family tech. And the TV like provider is going to be there. So I said, I'll just come. I'll make sure they're doing like their setup the way that I think they should be doing their setup. Because they set it up for her one way, and it's not right. <laughs> it's just, like, blatantly not right. So, I'm not the expert, though. I just want to see how they're doing this. So I told her I'd be there. And she'll provide coffee and breakfast, and I just have to show up. And I have to work from there. So, that'll be fun. Um... I don't start work for a little bit though, so at least I can hang out for some time. Um, 
Last night, I did not get too much reading done. I played a lot of Dreamlight Valley, and then I went with Dan to his friend's house, and they were watching wrestling and basketball, and I was just very overstimulated. I think I went back and forth between three different books to see if something would like really grasp my attention, and granted, the, the surroundings were very over overstimulating, so... I think if it was like a calmer situation, I 100% would have stuck to one because all three books are fantastic. And I was just very distracted. So didn't get much reading done. I did bring my Kindle with me in case like she's talking to the, um, the TV person and like I'm not working, I can at least read. So that'll be good. Um, and I think I'm gonna read on a treadmill later at the gym. I think that's the move so all right let's go tackle this day i did make a coffee um i'm using my bow cup with a little bow straw and this is like my default go-to cup these days except it doesn't fit in a cup holder so i have to just hold it until you know i get there there's nowhere for me to really put it down while i'm driving so yeah but i'm gonna sip on this um I'm like kind of congested. It's that time of year where I just wake up and I'm like, uh, this is kind of gross, but I just have to push through and persevere. And it'll be fine. Um, yeah, what else is going on today? Just work, work, and I'm gonna edit this vlog and just to like get ahead of it, I think. What else is going on today? That's it, just like a lot of reading. I could get to like 50% in at least one, if not two, of my books. Um, yeah, it should be very doable today. And then I'll have a reading update later because I said I was going to have one last night, but I didn't really have one last night. I read a cumulative of like five pages between three books. So, all right, let's get driving. I'm going to put on Love Light Farms, actually. I am obsessed. And sort of addicted to this book I'm trying to put the cup down um Stella and Luca and Bennett and Layla like I just I want to be there with them I want to be on the um Christmas tree farm and I just want to hang out with them like that's where I'm at right now so I'm gonna get back to listening to this and maybe I'll have a bit of an update later on my lunch break and then after work at some points so i'll see you all later when i come back and check in so it feels like hold on let me just put you all down it feels like it's been 900 years since i last updated the vlog but i think it's only been like a day so happy tuesday i am getting ready to go to Mar barnes and noble which i'm so excited because I am going book shopping with my friend from church and her daughter, who they're probably gonna watch this and know that it's them. Um, I have a list of books that I'm looking for and hopefully Barnes & Noble has them because I checked like location specific and it says they have them. So that would be nice. Um, what else? I am like 60 something percent through Love Light Farms and I do not want to ever leave Inglewild. And I think I said that the other day too. And I just need to be here forever and ever and ever. So Love Life Farms is amazing. I cannot wait to read the rest of the books in the series. And yeah, I just, I can't wait. Um, I haven't really made progress in Kingdom of Ash or uh, the novel love story, a novel, a novel love story. I never remember whether it's an A or a the in front. It's the new one by Ashley Poston that comes out in June. Yeah, in June. I really had to think about that. Um, it's good so far. I just don't think I've dedicated a good like sit down and read moment for it. I've just been reading it in like fits and spurts. So uh, it feels slow, but it's literally just me. I'm the problem. Um, 
that's really it as far as reading goes this week. I know I went to the library and I, my diffuser is going nuts because I have the windows open today because it's actually warm for once. Um, I have a huge TBR right now because I did go to the library and I did get more books and then some of my Libby holds came in and ugh, you ever just feel, I, I've talked about this on the vlog before or maybe one of the ones that like I started and never finished but ugh, I've just had this like overwhelming sensation of there are so many books to read and just simply not enough time and everybody like that's the cliche thing to say but like no seriously like I look at my shelves and I would say probably it's a good 50-50 split between what I've read and what I haven't read and I'm like when 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 am I going to read all of these and the ones that I have read I always struggle I'm like do I hold on to them do I put them in a little free library what's the cutoff I never know but um yeah that's just been my my heavy bookish heart the last few days has been thinking about that a lot um yeah so I'm gonna go read a little bit more this lighting is something else it's because I have the window behind me um I'm gonna go read I'm gonna probably finish in the weeds to in the weeds wow it's the next one I'm gonna probably finish Love Light Farms tonight and then maybe start in the weeds. That was an interesting face. Uh, I think I put a library hold in for it. Maybe I'll wait for the library hold so that way I have it on my Kindle. I have to decide. I have to decide what I'm gonna do. Cause I also wanna start the last Magnolia Parks because my friend Bethany is on the third one no, she's on the second mag- no? Yeah, she's on the second Magnolia- okay, so she's on the second Magnolia Parks, which means she's gotta do Daisy Hates and A Great Undoing, and then maybe we'll read Into the Dark together. Me, already planning a buddy read. Um, yeah. I, I have so much- there's so much I want to read, like, right now. <sighs> Alright, I'm- instead of blabbering and blabbering about the same thing, I'm going to go read Love Life Farms and I will see you all at Barnes Noble later. today i don't know if we like if i like it or not and this one random curl is just not sticking with the rest of the group must stick out so yeah that's uh this is the vibe for today i am just editing this video and realized that i didn't come on here yesterday now i'm gonna like touch my hair this whole video because <laughs> i'm doing something different with it okay i'm gonna like sit on my hands um I realized I never came on here after my Barnes and Noble trip. So I do have books. There's a haul. And I realized I never like updated you post like Abby Jimenez event. Um, though I did shelve those books at this point so I'm not gonna go get them out now because I wanna wrap up this video. But it, the event was just amazing. I keep, I'm still thinking about it. And now she's a double New York Times bestseller, which is nuts. I cannot wait to read that book. Anyway, let's go through the book haul from Tuesday night. Today is now Thursday. So, of course, I had to pick up an Elsie Silver. I haven't read her other series, the Chestnut Spring series. No, I haven't. But this cover is just really pretty. And I know I'm going to read her books eventually. 
So I said, you know what? Because I'm not at the event because she was in the city on Tuesday and I just forgot to wait list. So I just didn't go. Um, I said, I'll just pick it up. So now I have that one. Uh, where am I going to make a pile? It's always the question. Like I set up to take this video and then I never know where I'm gonna put the books. The next one, heavily influenced by Yasmin Reads, I think is her Instagram. Oh my goodness, I, I'm like 99% sure it's just Yasmin Reads. Let me make sure. She posted a review. Yes, it is Yasmin Reads. Um, her review was stunning for this book. And as soon as I read her review, I said, yeah, I need to read this also. And it's how to end a love story. So supposedly this author is supposed to be writing the screen adaptation for Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. I didn't know People We Meet was gonna be a movie or show, whatever it was gonna end up being, but I knew Beach Read was. And this author wrote her own book. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna read her book and see what it's about because everyone, especially Yasmin was saying it's amazing. So I'm very happy to hear that and very excited to start that. The next one I picked up was Next of Kin by Hannah Bonin Young, I think is her full name. Bonum Young. Um, she's the one that wrote Out on a Limb, but Out on a Limb has not been like republished in trad, trad traditional um, format, I guess, yet. So I picked up Next of Kin. I do have Out on a, out on a Limb. <laughs> my words are going so fast today. Um, I do have it on my Kindle. So I will just be picking it up and reading it on my Kindle if I get to it before the physical copy of it comes out. The last book that I picked up is Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. This is the second book in the Binding 13 series. And I am going to be starting this series relatively soon. So I figured I'd pick up book two while I was there because I want to get the new covers. I also don't think they make the old -er covers anymore. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and I was surprised that this is young adults because from what I've read about it, it does not seem young adults. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, those are the four books that I picked up. And I really had this like nice pink and orange theme going until I picked up Next of Kin, but I'm not mad about picking up Next of Kin. So that is the haul. We already went over my library haul, so I don't have to take you all through that again. Um, and I didn't pick up any more books at the Abby Jimenez event, aside from Just for the Summer, because that's the one that she signed. Um, oh, she signed my other ones too, but like that was the, the purpose of going to that event. So yeah, that's the haul. That's all the updates. I lost a uh, clip in this video and I think it was heavily talking about Love Life Farms. Um, I did end up finishing it. Five stars, a million, a million, a million stars actually, because it was so, so good. Um, I have so many tabs. I'll put a picture here of like all the tabs that I have for this book now. And I just cannot wait to start the next one because it was so good, so cute. So like Christmas, I don't want to say it's a Christmas book, but like for all your winter coziness around Christmas time, that's the book to read for sure. And Stella and Luca and everybody else on the farm, like I think this is what I was saying in the clip that I lost because I ended up taking like a slow motion video. I don't know how I did that. Um, I just want to be all their best friends. I just want to be in Inglewild on the farm, just working on the Christmas trees and hanging out. I don't know, it just seems like a good place to be. I loved that book. I cannot wait to start the next one. Um, I'm probably gonna start it within the next couple of days, but I do want to get through some of my library books first, which is what y'all are sitting on. So I think I'm gonna do a big library push and maybe that'll be my next video, just getting through my library books and then jump back into um, Love Light and Inglewild and all of that. So I am gonna end this here. It's Thursday at this point. So we've had a week of 
vlogging and content. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I enjoyed being back. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try my hardest to get back onto a schedule here and post content more regularly. And yeah. So like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications because I don't really have a schedule right now. And at least those notifications will tell you when I do post. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.